Student loans are a major decision so many of us make or have had to make before we really understand finances or the long term impact. The World Economic Forum says in 2024, financial literacy in the U.S. is below 50 percent. A local nonprofit in Kansas City works to raise that number each and every day, and now they're getting help from a student to reach a younger audience. School districts across the metro have reached out to Pathway Financial Education for their expertise. I'm Abby Dodge with KSHB 41 at Pathway's offices here at 18th and Vine. One local student is hoping to fill the gap on personal finance education through her internship with Harvard this summer. Katie Murphy has a long list of accolades, a state title winning athlete, editor of her school's newspaper, and now Harvard bound this fall. But she's helping her hometown before she leaves. I see a great potential for many students to um, benefit from the resources. Through the Harvard Spark program, Katie is using her internship with Pathway Financial Education to develop personal finance curriculum for students in the Show Me State. Having taken a similar class in Kansas just a few years ago, she's looking for ways to meet state standards and engage students. We are planning to add some um, activities and try to make it more personalized to Kansas City teens. Pathways Executive Director Latasha Jacobs says there's a need for what Katie's doing. Schools have reached out to her for help teaching the state required course. I think that a lot of them have instructors and have teachers, but they don't have a background in finances. They don't have a background in understanding how to manage uh, their day to day or their household income, let alone to teach someone else who is very green or new to the information. That's where Katie's work comes in. She has experience developing curriculum through a program with MIT last summer, and she's keeping her own instructors in mind when creating her curriculum. I always want to stay involved in education because it's done so much for me and I really um, appreciate all the teachers I've had so I think I would love to be a teacher at some point someday. But Katie is still writing plans for her future. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KSHP 41 News.